Okay, our topic today is writing the equations of the line depending on what are the given. Review the slope-intercept form. The slope-intercept form of a linear equation is y is equal to mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Okay. Review the slope-intercept form. Let's say name the slope m and y-intercept b of each equation. So, dapat naka y is equal to mx plus b. Sa so, number 1, we have the given y is equal to negative 4x plus 3. So, ang m dito, etong negative 4. Hindi kasama si x. Kasi, ayan, negative 4. So, therefore, we have negative 4 as slope and positive 3 sa b. And number 2, y is equal to 5 minus 1 half x. Just rearrange lang natin to. So, maging negative 1 half x plus 5. So, maging m natin dyan ay yung negative 1 half, which is the slope. And the y-intercept is 5. Number 3, 8x plus y is equal to 3 fourths. So, ang gagawin natin sa 8x, we need to transpose to the right. So, magiging y is equal to negative 8x minus 3 fourths. So, ang slope natin ay negative 8. And ang b natin or y-intercept is negative 3 fourths. Next naman, 4x minus 2y is equal to 10. Transpose lang din natin ito yung 4. x magiging negative 2y is equal to negative 4x plus 10. Then divide all terms by negative 2. So magiging y is equal to 2x minus 5. So ang m natin dito ay 2 or the slope. And the y-intercept b, ayan, negative 5. Next. We have y is equal to 1 third x. So, dito wala tayo nakikita b. So, ibig sabihin, we have y is equal to 1 third x plus 0. So, our slope is 1 third. Kasi yun ang katabi ni x. And b is equal to 0. And last, y is equal to 5. Dito naman, yung mx ang nawawala. So, therefore, the slope is 0. So, we have y is equal to 0x plus 5. So, m is 0 and b is 5. Okay. Write the equations of the line given first slope and y-intercept. Graph. Third one is slope and one point. Fourth, two points. And last is x and y-intercepts. Yung 4 and 5 almost the same, pero magkaiba lang sila sa last solutions. Pinakamadali dito ay yung 1 and 2. First one, find the equations of the line given slope and y-intercept. Since we have an idea about um, slope-intercept form, mas madali na sa atin. So here, substitute m and b or yung 0b into y is equal to mx plus b. So dito ang given natin ay slope at saka y-intercept. Sa substitute lang natin yan, doon sa may equations na y is equal to mx plus b. Papalitan lang natin yung m. Kung ano yung given, sa so, papalitan lang natin yung b. Example, m is equal to negative 3 and b is equal to 1. So, y is equal to negative 3x plus 1 yung sagot. Kasi pinalitan natin yung m ng negative 3 and b ng positive 1 or plus 1. So, we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 1. Number 2, we have m is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to negative 4. Substitute natin yun sa m and sa b. So, meron tayong y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Sir, bakit naging minus? Kasi, yung b natin dito ay negative. That's why minus 4. Next, m is equal to 0, b is equal to 10. So, magiging y is equal to 0x plus 10. Since 0 yung slope natin, mawawala lang to. So, meron tayong y is equal to 0x plus 10 or y is equal to 10. And next, dito naman, m is equal to 1, b is equal to 0. 0 yung b natin. So, meron tayo, y is equal to negative, uh, y is equal to 1x plus 0. Or y is equal to x. No need to write 1 na in your final answer. Kapag 1 numerical coefficient natin, no need to write. And last one, they are both zeros. 
anong may sagot? Kung 0 yung m, 0 yung b. So, meron tayo y is equal to 0x plus 0, which is y is equal to 0. Ganyan kadali ang paghanap ng equations ng line if we have given slope and y-intercept. So, nakuha naman natin lahat ng equations. Ito yun. Next, number 2. Find the equations of a line given the graph. So, here, find the y-intercept from the graph. Big sabihin, check mo kung yung graph ay tumama sa y-intercept. Kukunin natin yun. Para mahanap natin yung equations niya. Then, count the slope from the graph by using rise over run. Change in y over change of change in x. Then, write the equations of the line by substitute of the slope intercept form. Okay. Example. Ayan. Yung graph natin tumama sa y-axis na nasa babang part. So, therefore, negative. Bilangin lang natin to. 1, 2, 3. So, negative 3 yung din natin. Ayan. So, by using this point, y-intercept, mag-rise over run lang tayo na kung saan dapat babalik tayo mismo sa line lang din. Okay. Dito nag-rise ako ng tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3. Then, nag-run ako to the right ng dalawang beses. So, 1, 2. Bumalik lang tayo. So, itong point na to ay 2, 0. So, check natin. So, therefore, the slope is 3 halves. Or what if kung gusto ko mag-rise over ang pa ng pataas? Pwede yun. Try natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 yung rise ko, pataas. Then, run ako to the right ng apat na beses. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ang slope natin doon ay 6 over 4. Pero, if you get the lowest term of 6 over 4 or 6 fourths, magiging 3 halves lang din. So, parehas lang. So, ibig sabihin, kahit gano'n kala yung mag-rise over run, iisang slope lang pupuntahan mo. Unless, or dapat, sa line ka lang babagsak. Kasi doon ka kukuha ng point. Since may given na tayo na B, saka na slope, papalitan lang natin to. Yung M natin na 3 halves, yung B natin na negative 3. So, meron tayong equations na y is equal to 3 half x minus 3. Sample number 2. Ayan. Dito, ang locations natin na sa taas ng y-axis, so 0, 1. So, meron tayong b na 1. Then, mag-rise ako ng isang beses, then right to the left ng dalawa. So, that's why negative 2. Ayan. So, meron tayong slope na negative 1 half. So, substitute lang natin ulit yan dito. So, meron tayong negative 1 half x plus 1. Sample number 3. Oops, horizontal yung line natin. Mag-raise kaya tayo dyan. Check natin. So, ito, bilangin muna natin yung locations niya. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung B natin ay 4. nag ba? Hindi. So, 0 yung raise natin. Pero nag-run ako na isang beses. So, kahit ilang beses ka mag-run, kapag ang rise mo ay 0, your slope is always 0. So, may slope tayo na 0, palitan natin m, at yung b natin na 4. So, meron tayo y is equal to 0x plus 4, or y is equal to 4. Next, find the equations of the line given point and the slope. So, point slope formula ang gagamitin natin dito. Yung y minus y sub 1 equals m times of x minus x sub 1. Dito, given yung x sub 1, y sub 1. Itang point yan na kung saan may kita natin sa line. At dun sa slope mismo. Then, substitute natin yung slope and x, in, x sub 1, y sub 1 into the given formula. Example, write the equations of the line with the slope negative 2. And passing through the point 3, negative 5. Okay. Substitute natin yung slope and x sub 1, y sub 1. Ang slope natin ay negative 2. x sub 1 natin ay 3. And y sub 1 natin ay negative 5. So, ito yung solution natin. The given formula is y minus y sub 1 equals m times of x minus x sub 1. 
y sub 1 natin ay 5. That's why meron tayo dito. y minus negative 5. Ito o yung y sub 1. Equals. Yung m natin, the slope is negative 2. So, babaguin lang natin yan. Open parenthesis, x minus 3. Sino yung 3 na yan? Yung x sub 1. Then, simplify natin to. Simplify natin to. So, meron tayong y minus negative 5. Negative times, posi negative, times negative is positive. So, meron tayong y plus 5. Equals, eto distribute natin. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Then, negative 2 times negative 3, positive 6 or plus 6. Then, tong 5 na to, ililipat din natin to doon sa kabila. So, meron tayong y is equal to negative 2x plus 6 minus 5. Simplify natin yung 6 minus 5. Ano sagot? 1. So, meron tayo ngayon y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. That will be the equations of the line with the given slope negative 2 and point 3 negative 5. Next. Example. Write the equations of the line with the slope negative 1 half and passing through to the point 1, 2. Okay. So, substitute lang natin yung slope and x sub 1, y sub 1. Ang slope natin, yung m, negative 1 half. Yung x sub 1 natin, 1. And y sub 1 natin, 2. Formula muna. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times of x minus x sub 1. Palitan na natin yung y sub 1 ng 2. Yung m, negative 1 half. And x sub 1, 1. So, ito mangiging itsura. y is equal to, uh, y minus 2 equals negative 1 half times of x minus 1. Okay. Distribute natin yung negative 1 half kay x saka sa negative 1. So, ito magiging, y minus 2 equals negative 1 half x minus 1 times negative 1 half. Pag sinimplify natin to negative 1 times negative 1 half, the answer is positive 1 half. Okay. And then, kailangan natin alisin yung negative 2 na yan. So, we need to transpose to the right. So, meron tayong y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1 half plus 2. Then, add natin tong 1 half plus 2. So, 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5 halves. Pwede namang 2 and 1 half. Para mas magandang tignan pag nakain proper. Ayan. So, we have y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. So, this is the equations of the line with a given slope negative 1 half and point 1, 2. Next, number 4. Find the equations of the line given 2 points. First, we need to calculate the slope of 2 points by using the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Dito, dalawang points ng given natin. And then, use 1 points one of the points and slope of the substitute in the point slope formula. Pipili lang tayo ng isang point doon kasi may m na tayo. Kukuha na lang tayo ng isang point para magamit natin yung formula kanina. Ako saan yung x, y minus y sub 1 equals m times of x minus x sub 1. Okay. Sample. Write the equations of the line that goes through the points 3, 2, and 5, 4. Okay. By using the formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is the x sub 1, y sub 1, y, x sub 2, y sub 2. So y sub 2 is 4, 4 minus y sub 1, 2 all over x sub 2, 5, ito, minus x sub 1, 3. So 5 minus 3. Simplify natin to. 4 minus 2. 2 over 5 minus 3, 2. 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So, we have M. Now, pipili na lang tayo ng isang point. Ito gagamitin ko si 3, 2. Ayan. Nung ginamit ko si 3, 2, nakuha natin. So, we have substitute natin. Y sub 1, 2. And X sub 1, 3. Yung 
points law formula ang ginamit natin ha. Yan lang din, substitute. Simplify natin to. 1 times x, x. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. So, meron tayong x minus 3. Transpose natin 2 to the right. So, negative 3 plus 2, the answer is negative 1. See, so, we have y is equal to x minus 1. So, this will be the equations of the line given these two points. Next, find the equations of the line given x and y intercepts. Okay, write the intercepts as ordered pairs. First, example, x intercept mo 4, the ordered pair is 4, 0. Ibig sabihin, may kita natin yan sa x-axis. Next, ordered pair. Let's say example, negative 2. The ordered pair is 0, negative 2. Ibig sabihin yan, sa y-intercept, 0 si x. Sa x-intercept, 0 si y. Then, we need to calculate the slope, yung kanina. Yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Then, gagamitin natin yung um, slope intercept form para makuha natin yung equation. Example, write the equations of the line with the x intercept 3 and y intercept 2. Okay. Ordered pair muna natin yan. x intercept 3 is equal to 3, 0. Dapat 0 yung y. Y intercept 2 is equal to 0, 2. X is 0. Calculate natin yung slope. Ayan. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. So, 2, 0. 2 minus 0. X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, meron tayong 0 minus 3. So, 0 minus 3. Simplify natin to. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So, we have the slope negative 2 thirds. So, ito yung slope natin. Then, we have y-intercept 2. So, ito yung b. So, that's why ang gagamitin natin is y is equal to mx plus b. Kasi may y-intercept na tayo na b. Ito lang. At meron tayong m na negative 2 thirds. So, papalitan lang natin yan. So, meron tayong y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So, this will be the equations of the line with x-intercept 3 and y-intercept 2. Thank you.